So, uh, Commodus did what Hadrian did. And, 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 and when Trajan lost all, all these men, thousands of men fighting the Parthians, and he captured Assyria, Hadrian proved to be ungrateful by withdrawing. Commodus proved to be ungrateful by withdrawing his troops. Tiberius, years before that, proved to be ungrateful when Germanicus defeated the Germans and he captured all that, all that territory and he was ordered to fall back. So, uh, two films were actually uh, released by Hollywood. One of them was released in, 160, uh, in 1964, it was called The Fall of the Roman Empire. And recently, The Gladiator was released. Now, these two movies are, are really far from the truth. They have no um, historical value whatsoever. For example, in the, in the Gladiator, we see that Marcus Aurelius dies, and Commodus succeeds him, and he dies during the, um, during the games, during the funeral. The, the funeral games, which is quite fun actually, and it's a shame really how all that money was, was spent, and a proper film about Marcus Aurelius and his successors <laughs> was never released. Marcus Aurelius wrote a book. He can, he wrote it in Greek, and it's called The Meditations All to Myself. This book. Which, is, uh, which belongs to the Stoic philosophical school, is admired by people such as the Byzantine writer Aletas of Caesarea, Bill Clinton, Goth, Frederick the Great, and others. And we can find it in the lower uh, library. Now we want to talk about some of the, uh, some of the intellectuals. Now, one of the tutors of uh, one of the tutors of uh, Marcus Aurelius was Frodo. Frodo was a Berber. He was a Latinized Berber, and he was one of his tutors. Uh, contemporaries are Alexander of Avanticus, the mystic, the Greek mystic. We have Lucian, who was a Syrian, and he was a satirical writer. We, we've got the Greek benefactor Hierolis Atticus. The man who uh, had his villa in the Kibisia, and he built theatres, temples, bars everywhere, from uh, from Troy to Athens to Corinth. We see that some of um, Marcus Aurelius' tutors are Quintus Junius Rusticus, Annius Macca. Caninius Keller. Near contemporaries are Alias Aristides, who spent most of his time in Bergamo, writing uh, about meditations and uh, medicine. We see Bolianos, who wrote a book about strategy, and it was based on an earlier work by uh, Saxus Frontinus, and it was dedicated to Lucius Vivus and Marcus Aurelius. We see the Greek tutor Alexander of Cordillo, one of his tutors, and of course many others. Now, uh, there were many edifices being erected during his reign. A few of them are the steel, the, the, the steel column in Rome. I actually, actually went there myself, and it's quite similar to the, to the, the steel Trajan erected, depicting his victories. Uh, we have a, a big statue of Marcus Aurelian at South the Capitol Museum. Capitolian Museum. We see a large theatre in Magna, in um, Letters Magna, which is in modern day Libya, the old Phoenician co uh, colony. We see an arch in Ia, Tripoli, which is the capital of Libya, and of course other places too. Now, now this is a bust of Antoninus Pius, the good emperor. The, this is one of this gate is Fatla is one of Antoninus's edifices, one of the many he created. This is Lucius Virus, Marcus Antonius's colleague, the weak and ineffective emperor. He spent most of his day hunting, drinking.
Now this is Marcus Aurelian himself. You can see him here at a young age. Statue of Marcus Aurelius. Here is a bust of Faustina, Aurelius' wife. His wife who had betrayed him with uh, Avidius Cassius. Here is the coin of Vologisos, the fourth, the Parthian king, who defeated the Romans twice at the very onset of Marcus Aurelius' reign. Now this is the column Marcus Aurelius, quite similar to that, the one that Trajan built after the Dacian Wars. Now this is a triumphal arch, it's found in modern day Tripoli in Libya, the old Phoenician city of Oia. And it's from the reign of Marcus Aurelius. And this is the base of a column of Antoninus Pius. The lower part. And we can see him and his wife. We can see and we can see Marcus Aurelius outside the, the Capitolian Museum of Rome. Horseback. The original one is in the museum, the one outside the piazza is a copy. And this is the famous Ctesiphon Gate in modern day Iraq. The troops of Avidius Cassius captured and sacked the city. And these are Parthian cavalry arches. The Roman troops of Avidius Cassius and Stasius Priscus probably faced something like that. And this is Commodus, Marcus Aurelius' evil son. The corrupt person who gave up the promises of Marcomania and Quadia.